So first up, we have my review, this interesting little device right here. It's called the Galileo by Motor. It looks kind of like a, what is this, a coffee cup holder maybe? Well, it turns out it's for your iPhone. It's just for iDevices. This basically lets you take automated photography and videography, everything from panoramic photos or videos to spherical pictures and whatnot. You can even take time-lapse video and you can also do things like motion. Uh, so you can track motion whenever people are moving around in front of you. Uh, so a little bit of information about this device. It costs $150, so it's a little expensive for just a video device. You definitely have to be a, a video file, if you will. Basically, how it works, you get the device itself and it's very rubberized. On the bottom, it has this moving bottom part so it can move around. And it also has this top part, which can turn to be both panoramic and vertical. There you go. So we have three pieces on here that can move. Once I tilt it up like this, I can set my iPhone in there or whatever the device might be. I can also use my iPod on here as well or an older iPhone as well. Uh, they have docks for each of those and it's a very sturdy dock so your phone is not going to fall out of it as it moves since it is automated. And the kind of weird thing about this is that it doesn't come with any particular app for itself. It does have this motor app up here at the top. That is just for you to download specific other applications that work with the Galileo. Each of these applications, well, most of them are free, but there are a few, like this last one up here called vide Videography, which costs everything from $1.99 all the way up to $3.99, so it is a little expensive. So if I press the first one up here, right there, this is going to let me take a whole spherical picture. So I can press the little button down here, the plus button. It's a little hard to do when I'm sideways. There we go. And I hit the motor signal, and it's going to ask me to connect my Galileo. So I go ahead and twist this so it turns on Bluetooth. There we go. And it says, do you want to connect? Hit connect. And it'll go ahead and connect. It'll ask you if you want to do firmware update. I'm going to skip that for now for testing purposes. And I hit start. So this is going to take a big spherical photo that I can share online. And I can check out whenever people are hanging out with me. It also makes kind of weird noises whenever it's working. But look, it works. Now, you might be wondering, why would I use this? Well, one of the things you can do other than just taking cool videos and photography is you could use it for a security camera. But if you're going to use it for a security camera, wouldn't you want your iPhone to be running all day instead of running out of video? The battery is going to die eventually. The battery will also die on this. The battery only lasts a few hours. So that's not necessarily something that I would want to pay for the app. You know, I wouldn't want to pay two bucks for an app that does that. If it's not going to last all day, that's kind of pointless for me. As it runs its course, it'll only let you do about five or six spherical graphs like this before it actually runs out of battery. And once it's done, okay, it's done. You can check the battery on the bottom. This little battery symbol right here will turn green whenever it is completely charged up. It'll also turn red if it's dying. Uh, the best way to take off your phone is to turn it down and then pull your phone out like that. Ta-da, all better and then you can check your battery. So if I twist this, it looks like my battery is almost dead already. Or maybe it just died. <laughs> so it's an interesting device. It's definitely just made for photography nerds, people that really like to make a lot of video. Uh, this was a spherical image that I took uh, when I was hanging out at one of my friend's houses over the weekend. So you can see there are some clips where it tried to take a complete photo, but it kind of messed up there a little bit. But for the most part, it's very clear. I also shared a time-lapse video. It's only six seconds long if Brian wants to pull that up. And this is just a quick video to let you know what it looks like. Pretty quick, very easy to use. It automatically turns off your screen to save battery whenever you're taking a time-lapse footage. And it looks really cool, especially if you want to take it somewhere to play with. 
Uh, and it also has a tripod mounting tool as well, so you can take it out with you to a really scenic view and run a time lapse of sunset if you want. How romantic, so fun. So my pros and cons of this device, it's very interesting. It creates beautiful spherical photography, that's really cool, and it's fun to watch it work, it makes really funny noises, and it's super simple to set up. But on the con side, it does smell kind of funny when you take it out. I hope that smell will come away, but yeah, it still stinks. <laughs> the battery dies pretty quick. Some apps are paid purchases, which when you're spending $150 on a device, I don't want to spend more money than I have to. And of course, there's no charge input for the iPhone. I think it would be great to just add a lightning connector on the bottom of this that I could plug a charging port into. I think that would make it so, so much better. And then I could use it for security at home or just watching my cats because that's fun. So buy, try, or don't buy for the Galileo by Motor. I'm gonna have to say 